to get started super fast. It's an early great night. You know, that classic great night trope where uh, where it's the the sun is out. That's a, that's a classic great night, right? Yeah, Brian. Well, I mean, I guess last time, once every four years, great nights get real weird uh, uh, for about a period of on and off a year, right? Yep. Between elections and debates and stuff like that. And election night, which Brian, are you excited to lock back in and run our election, our PX3 oh, please. election I, I, night I didn't want I didn't want to presume, but I've been just thinking presume. about what an amazing presume. night that was. Uh, uh, that's, uh, are you kidding? We have to, uh, it's going to be bigger and better than, than the, the midterms. No, we're gonna fucking blow it out. In fact, I need to, this week or next week, um, debut, what we did last time was, instead of everybody saying like, oh, who's gonna win the presidency? Who's gonna win the Senate? Who's gonna win the House? I just came up with four plausible scenarios that each had their own wacky names am to I, them. Am I gonna go have to buy more boards that could be punched? Yes. <laughs> yeah! And then as, and then as they were... <laughs> Because what you know is that something's not going to happen, right? Like, you don't know exactly what is going to happen, but you just know that this scenario is not going to happen. We have an opportunity to, to kick and punch uh, uh, some boards, which is really fun. So, yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. We're, we're doing it. We're, we're doing it big. We're doing it live. It's going to be okay, awesome. Good. But anyway, it does mean that on days like today, when we have the vice presidential debate, we got to move this to a little earlier. Brian, I got a question for you. When did everything become in America? <laughs> I mean, uh, I think in America was always implied, right? Like we just assumed yes. America was everything. But you know what I'm talking about, right? You, you, like, elaborate, elaborate. Like, like, oh, it's it's debate night in America. It's football <laughs> night in America. It's and it's like the only uh, time in America I'm is the new climate change, which is a big problem. <laughs> like yes. or, or hurricanes, which are you know, so he was seen driving a car, which is known to kill thousands of people every year in America well, during climate like, change. Everybody's gone for that branding, but it makes no sense because everybody has the branding. Like yeah. people call it the, it's it's the football night in America, it's debate night in America, it's whatever in America. Like just to just debate night. Well, it's is, debate night. Is, the, isn't the, that the clash in New York? I forget where it's happening tonight. Isn't isn't that like a go to trope? Like if you want to establish in a comedy that this is an Orwellian hellscape, then you have the one channel everyone's forced to watch advertise itself and say, "Reminder, you're watching the only news channel in this dysto yeah. dystopian hellscape." I guess yeah. Although that would be like, this is mandatory boy talk that you will watch <laughs> vice presidential boy talk it really is uh by the way ho huh, am i popular with with uh jd vance today uh, he uh, you getting blowed up uh, oh god i mean uh, i don't even know why i bothered to report all the text messages as spam i i've stopped getting texted by the trump campaign for whatever reason oh 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 have have you been getting the texts from inanimate objects in the orbit of Trump, like it'll just say Trump's hat, and the text will say, "I am a hat for you." <laughs> like, no, I, I get first person. I was getting first person stuff from the Trump campaign that was like, "Patriot, there's a special edition Zubaz hat that <laughs> says Trump on it." And I'm allowing you to be the first person to buy it. Click <laughs> to donate and buy a hat. This hat is special edition. Stop to uh, text stop to sign up a friend. Yeah, text, text, text stop to end. <laughs> or no, text stop for more. <laughs> <laughs> text, text stop. Or no, text, text uh, uh, $11 out of my wallet to stop. You know, you know what would be great is if, is if you got a tweet for a text from Trump and you replied stop and it just responded with, welcome to Cat Facts. <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> Dude, one of these days I'm going to get rich enough just to buy one of those lists. I'll just rent one of those lists and just send people nonsense. Uh, that, that was one of my big dreams was to do – to buy, rent one of those lists and then literally just text people in swing states, hey, you know, it's okay to not vote. 
If you don't want to vote, it's super cool. <laughs> well, you realize that you'd be handing both sides the opportunity to shout that the other side is engaged yes, in voter to suppress suppression. The vote. yeah. yeah. And then I would emerge from the shadows and, and say, no, 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 it was I'm me. I'm genuinely <laughs> reminding people that not voting is an option. It's pretty good. The, the Justin Robert Young, the vote suppressor. <laughs> suppress. <laughs> Where did you get suppress? Wait, suppress. What? I'm not suppress. Vote. Vote eliminator reminder. <laughs> what, where vote I... eliminator hinter. <laughs> wait, wait, maybe. The, the hinter reminder. <laughs> I'm the hinter. I'm from the hinterlands. Ah. I just I, I'm 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 just a, I'm just a gleeful hint man. Hey Brian. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Check the oil on your car. I feel like uh, if Splinter has the f four Ninja Turtles, you need uh, the four, you need the Hinter needs the four, yes. like John, Paul, George, and Ringo. <laughs> I need the Beatles. You're right. I do need, it's like, I yeah. need, the Hinter is the original organizer of the Beatles. I found them in Liverpool. <laughs> you're, the, you're the Brian Epstein of the, uh, of, mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. yeah. The most famous Epstein. <laughs> so uh, uh scam school got shouted out by vsauce i don't know if you saw that uh, no so um you, you i've been talking to you offline about how how i want to get back into doing or want to get into doing a bunch of shorts because yeah. uh I, I just needed a or i want an efficient pipeline and boy oh boy ain't nothing like a kick in the butt to like on a Friday, uh, Friday morning, wake up and find out that somebody's like having a smash hit of a YouTube short in which he shows your face and calls you out specifically, thanking you for finding out the least popular card in a deck of cards. And so, and I'm like, shorts, they can be popular. And so, uh, smash cut to I've I've recorded uh, uh, I've on my run. I've thought of a thing I could do a short immediately for recorded it edited it uh going through multiple programs to figure out which one's a good workflow and yep. posted four shorts in the last like 48 hours and Damn. um uh and the one today did pretty well it was it this was this motherfucker's got more shirts in an old navy <laughs> the, <laughs> it's it's really <laughs> wild to try to like take like originally it would be like a very simple riddle or puzzle 30 seconds and i would figure out okay okay how do i make it three acts enough to cover two ad breaks and make it a 13 minute long episode of scam school and now i'm taking that same episode of scam school and be like okay garbage out garbage out garbage out God, how do i make it one minute long in a short one minute <laughs> uh but so far it's going really well and i'm really enjoying it i forgot how much i enjoyed editing that that flow state is oh yeah just hypnotic yeah you know there's uh uh there is there's a real rewarding nature to like putting something together to knowing something's wrong and having the desire to be like, no, I can make it right. I just need to do a thing and a thing and a thing. And like, what am I not seeing? What do I need to let go of? And then like, when you do it, it just feels great. It feels it's like you're like, like you're, you're just, you're like losing weight until something's the perfect size that it needs to be. Uh, how how's it going on your YouTube channel? How often are you posting the shorts? And and th they're all kind of slices of the show, right? Shorts are off and on, you know, with the new uh, workflow of uh, a baby daughter. There's, <laughs> uh, we've we've kind of reduced. The good news is that everything that needs to go out is going out. The bad news is is that there's not a ton of time for. Uh, uh, stuff that I they otherwise kind of had time for. So I haven't done a, a a bunch of shorts. I think, you know, anytime that there's big news and that I cover, I'll try to cut it out and throw it out on, on, on the various socials. But to be totally honest, what I really need to do is just actually dedicate time to doing, like, content content as opposed to cutting out content from something else and and making it a thing. I, 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 need, to, I need to do for real big boy content but you know who knows i'm i'm hoping i mean you know a wise sage you, you are you're in a very unique position with that yeah shorts because you have such a gigantic catalog to direct people to that if like you can actually make the the conversion math work 
Because well, nobody leaves a short unless they are in love with what it, what is happening. It's like so vanishingly small. So it's like one or two percent. But you've got such a catalog that you can make one or two percent actually kind of work. Like that actually does churn your uh, uh, churn churn your machine because you put so much time and effort into it. Where all my stuff is like, you know, it's like, all right, did you see the point I made? They're like, cool. Let me know when you have another point. Well, because uh, all this shit ages like McDonald's French fries. I, but on the flip side, like as fast as you can have the take out, the better. Um, and uh, what what I'm hoping, this is my current operating theory. Even though technically I'm just covering the same material. At least I recorded it three hours ago, and somehow, uh, as just Robert Young pointed out to me, the internet smells effort, and they oh, yeah. know the difference between this was shot six years ago and cut out for my benefit here and is clearly a segment of something else. Whereas, like, no, this was, whether it's new or not, it was created this morning for me, and uh, that's something that I feel like you can do, it, uh, but the only <laughs> I've been doing... Okay, so, so you know how, like, people try to make them a perfect loop? I found out yeah. that Josie... I saw yours. I saw you made a loop. <laughs> I found out Josie hates that. <laughs> she says, like, because she's got that finely tuned sense that only a 16-year-old can have, she can yeah. smell when somebody's trying to set up a loop, and she inherently gets mad because she knows that tricking people into watching the beginning again drives you know numbers up and yeah, so gotcha. the moment someone gets two views yeah yeah so so when it gets to the end and she can hear somebody slow down and say anyway so that's why and then you know she gets mad and she's like nope 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 you're not getting my engagement uh that's the reason to do it, it yes yes correct because how many takes how many very valuable lessons did you first learn because you hated them when you first discovered it as a teenager because they felt alien to you? And I refused you to were do not it. A creator. You were a consumer and you're like, hey, I know what you're doing. And then at a certain point you run out into the town square and you're like, look at what they're doing. And nobody cares. And then you're like, oh, I could do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh, I, the, the one line I still haven't crossed, but I keep thinking about it. I'm like, oh. Would a red arrow really be the worst thing in a thumbnail? <laughs> 40 of them. I say 40 red arrows. Send as many red arrows to your next uh, 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 YouTube art as Iran sent to Israel today. Oh, my gosh. 180 red arrows. Oh, did they send 180 missiles? Yeah. I don't know why I took it there. Really stupid. I don't know why. That was that was, that was dumb of me to take it there, but yes, that's the correct answer. <laughs> that yes. uh, that's, that's a thing. That's a thing. Did you hit anyway, the mark? Anyway, World War III. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Brian, your YouTube. Uh, what we really need to do is focus <laughs> well, on how oh to get my God. YouTube uh, up. Uh, this just in. Scam school, death by proximity to <laughs> <laughs> the Israeli Gaza conflict. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's a new subscriber to scam school. <laughs> Ayatollah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Big in Tehran. Uh, the, the morning of scab school, killed by guilt by association. <laughs> mm -hmm. Services mm -hmm. will be held mm -hmm. one minute long all day on shorts. How uh, to crack the call to prayer. Okay, so where, where are we at on using AI in your stuff without having people get mad and saying you're a bad person because you use AI. Because I was thinking about like visuals and uh, if you try to make anything too high quality, people could tell it's AI, but I'm like, child's drawings, I could have- I, You're overthinking it. Okay. What do you mean people get mad? Oh, right, I, give me I, an I, example of somebody I, getting mad, I, I, aside I, from your daughters. Okay, well, my daughters are like 30% of my, <laughs> of my person feed so yeah, but they're also like watching you make it and you're probably calling them in and saying hey does this look cool and then your daughters are like are you using ai and you I, go no I'm and definitely. then they go i think it's ai okay. and then you uh, say okay you know what uh pulling pulling off the mask uh yes i want to use ai but i also want to be proud and show my daughters and i don't want to hear about it when they're all like wait a minute is that ai can i tell you specifically because yes, I, I'm very excited to hear the underlying story that was the inspiration for this broader conversation. I, uh, uh, I, I, I started messing with the music, and I'll be danged if 
I just typed the word. I wanted some music to go with the puzzle, and it made a hook. It made a jam that stuck in my head, and I've just, I think this is going to be the theme song for the puzzle box. Uh, So it's nice, it's jaunty, a little upbeat, yep. one word, but it gets more intense. Puzzles. You can kind of tell when it's ramping up over time. See now we're getting now we're getting in the groove. Say bit bit. Say fuck. It it, it kind of sounds like it's saying Doesn't fuck. Sound like fucking puzzle 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 puzzle, 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 Brian, yeah. I think right, this is a very informative moment right here. Yes. You want to get away with using this? Yes. You've just violated the first rule. What? What? Oh, the first rule is you don't admit that you're doing it. Okay. That is the first rule. You also <laughs> violated the second rule. You also violated the second rule. Okay. Which is don't admit you do it? No. Don't spend too much time on it. Oh. If you literally use that as just like, a little bumper, something underneath you talking, nobody oh. would give a shit. But if you say, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the greatest song you've ever heard, here we go. And you expect everybody to have the same experience that you had when you first heard it. Yeah. You will be sorely disappointed. Got it. Got it. So let it, let it kind of just come in. It, it, kind of like the My Dick Band where it's like it's on and you don't really notice that it's, it's saying dick. Is on my Let's list. just say theoretically, if there were an episode of a podcast that were going to come out uh, that had a lot of media from <laughs> New York City in the 70s and 80s, <laughs> All right. uh, that maybe you would slip amongst real things AI songs that were gradiated to sound like they were authentic so you can create an unreal experience where... Pop songs are your Greek chorus to your larger story. So, like, but maybe, maybe you're you never don't... saying, oh, get ready. What do these songs mean? Because then all of a sudden people are like, no, fuck you. You didn't put enough effort for right. the fact that that sounds good. But meanwhile, in, uh, and I'm just making this up, like, what if there was a story happening and you didn't even notice, but your brain noticed it, that, that like, the song in the background, the lyrics were, green ambition and then yes. you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah and so you're <laughs> so yeah you want that to be a little thing you can't make it a big thing yeah like but oh, but here is, i know i can't all right i was gonna say something about about all right no about a thing I, it, I don't think anyone should ever say, here's my AI blank. Yes, correct. Nobody will be. Or I don't think that anything that could be reasonably detected is AI because you have <sighs> never had any kind of interest in making something that complex. You should ever say, everybody pay a lot of attention to this. Right. It should always be value add, value add, value add. Like have a gigantic rock opera play beneath your monologue because it's easy for you to do it. It's a background thing, but it highlights you. You always have to lead with humanity. Right. If you don't lead with humanity and make AI the background, that's when people get annoyed because unless it's like a perfect hitting the timing moment uh, or it's just that good that it actually cracks the code and breaks into people's brains and they're like, oh my God, this is, she loves you, right? Uh, then you're kind of fucked. People are going to be madder about it, uh, at least for right now. Maybe maybe in the future, people will just be like, yeah, whatever, it's trash. It's low effort trash. Well, and uh, I, I want Because again, people Brian, to just what's not the rule notice. of the internet? Uh, the internet spells that effort. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, 100%. And I, wait, I, have we talked on this show, uh, Chat Realm would know, if, we, if I explain my Comic Sans theory of Chat GPT, did we talk about this? 
Maybe I uh, didn't. No. Yeah, okay. So uh, Windows comes to town, Windows 95 or whatever. Whenever they introduce mm-hmm. Comic Sans, right? So you have this very finite group of fonts, and Comic Sans sticks out. Um, it sticks out because it looks folksy and friendly in a grandpa kind of font way. And so everybody instantly finds it very novel and starts using it. They all press the easy button of fonts. And as a result of that being an easy button, everybody within about 35 minutes comes to deeply hate the low effort. It's synonymous with low effort. And so the, the font spends like three to five years being beloved and 25 years being reviled, uh, as a result. And so that's, that's what we're going through with chat GPT. No artist, I believe needs to fear chat GPT, unless you are making a little thing called shitty art, because guess what? Uh, the market for shitty artists is about to go yeah, away. You, you want to know what? Look, I, I'm officially out of the game. Oh, it of defending it? Assuaging people. Well, because look, it's here. I, either it's here, it's queer, get used to it. Like, it's, you know, th- this is just going to be what it is. You can deal with it or you can not deal with it. Use it as a tool. Don't use it as a tool. That's fine. Everybody's got their assumptions. The one thing that's crazy to me is I'm on Reddit, if I follow these AI boards and they're like, why did AI come for art? Why not make AI mine the mines and till the fields? That's what AI should be for. Why have it learn poetry and uh, uh, blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, well, it'll eventually get to the mining the mines. We need the robots to do that. But it'll, trust me, It'll eventually, all the mines are going to be robots. All the mines, anyone who can afford a robot is going to be throwing. As soon as that becomes cheaper than a human being, trust me, they'll be in there mining the mines. It's just that art and music, easier to solve. It's an easier solve. <laughs> well, at least formulaic, because literally it's following a formula. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, formulaic like, it, it, is, it is what it is. People, I don't know. I'm kind of over the people being mad about AI thing. It's just, it's, it's like, it's cool. If you think it's going to be, it's going to be a flash in the pan. Awesome. That's cool for you. It's a cool thing for you to believe. Uh, I don't agree, (laughs) but you know, we all make our way down life's highway. Isn't that right? Kimosabi. We all just, uh, we're all just matriculating down life's old grand boulevard. Uh, seeing hither and yon where our fates are going to take us. We don't, we don't need to be fussing in a feuding. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah certainly computers. we don't need to be fussing and feuding. And no. uh, by the way, just to make it totally clear, um, this is the one spot on the planet where I get to get my wiggles out about AI because at home, I'm a very well-behaved dad who is only patient and kind as his, te- as his children are all three terrified and united that AI is the devil. <laughs> While quietly, Bonnie and I are like, man, AI yeah, has been really helpful. Has it been helpful for your art? Yes, it's been very helpful. It does all the things I don't know why you tolerate like to that shit, dude. Not in my household. <laughs> oh, so how? Oh yeah. Well, how yeah. great is Bella? How great is your daughter? I bet no, she talks up no, all look, the time see, about it. She says it. all sorts of. She says all sorts of things. I'm like, that's fucking nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> You're an infant. I'm an adult. Like you don't even know shit. Like, Wait. I, my opinion goes in this household, all right? Like, you don't even know English. I don't know why you, why don't you tolerate this? I know you're arguing against AI, but you know all I hear? Wah! Wah! <laughs> I'm overtired. I need a nap. I just spit up milk all over myself. You're a baby, all right? You want to know what? You're a baby. I'm, I'm a smart man. I'm a real smart man. You're a baby. You don't know shit. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know anything. You don't know what shit is. You do not know what shit is. You don't know the concept of shit, let alone the abstracted metaphor of of, 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 of what shit is. You don't know the metaphor of shit. <laughs> Sometimes I walk in and then she opens her eyes and she looks at me and I cross my arms and I scowl my face and I say, you need to grow up. And then I count yeah, to 10. Up. And then I count to 10 and I say, well, that's a good start. Keep doing that. <laughs> Turns out you're hitting developmental leaps on a regular schedule. Good job growing up. I'll be back tomorrow. And you you're better growing, still be growing up. <laughs> you're growing and 
you are peeing regularly. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> the two metrics that all of science says should be hitting, you are hitting. This is great. You're growing up. Uh, is there is there a benchmark corner hour update for the week? No. The, the, the next big thing is when, when she smiles. Oh. Because uh, that's... That's apparently going to happen anytime within the next two weeks. Uh, it, it's usually around the the two month mark. She is now a uh, a month and a week old, and so like at any moment now in the next two weeks, she's going to socially smile, which everybody, including my friend who has a daughter that's three weeks older than Bella, and so he's experiencing everything three weeks before I am. He's like, oh, that's like a game changer, like. You, you, you don't, like, if you've gotten along liking your child who wakes you up all the time and has now taken over your life entirely without smiling, brother, oh, it's a dream from here on out because uh, watching your child smile at you is uh, 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 a uh, next level. Trip. Turns out it's a hell of a drug. Like, like yeah. you're going through the birth and you're like, well, I can't see why I would have, oh, a smile, let's have another. <laughs> Like, I know. <laughs> when she smiles. Doo, 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 doo. Also, uh, Ledwin in the chat says, literally listening while my 15-year-old auto steer drives my tractor across a field. By which I assume he means literally a robot is driving his tractor across a field while uh, while he's listening. That's pretty dope. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. 15 years old, is a that's a good robot. I wonder if that robot hates your daughters. <laughs> is it, yeah, I hope a not. 15 year old, a 15-year-old robot is like, what, you know what? Fuck teenagers in Texas. And meanwhile, your teenagers in Texas are like, you want to know what? Fuck robots. <laughs> That's the rebellion phase that they no, go this through. Is, yeah, this is like a new, like a, like, a, like a Jets and the Sharks thing. They're going to they're gonna come down to, you know, New York and start snapping at each other. Uh, Callie, uh, gets frustrated at games and yeah. uh uh so i don't know if this was the wisest thing i thought like like she she always insists on doing the easiest mode she's 11 about to be 12 and she's accustomed to always being first place in mario kart she uses the auto steering and all that stuff the baby mode yeah um and i want her to understand that part of the appeal of games is you challenge yourself and you get better uh i may have overplayed my hand uh, because I was like, you know what you should play is golf. Uh, briefly forgetting that universally the stereotype of golf is that it is a maddening, enraging uh, uh, game in all of its incarnations. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, which I found out in the first day when she, she like hit one ball and she's essentially the 11 year old version of like, man, fuck golf. Yeah. <laughs> getting up and walking away. But she's getting um, better. But she stuck to it. Uh, yeah, and now she's beating me, so now it's oh, cool. Now golf is she's cool. She's gonna be a real duffer, as they say. A real in the duffer. Trade. Yeah. yeah, a real. She's gonna be swinging, uh, swinging, swinging the clubs, as they say, hitting the balls, knocking it on the green, uh, playing for skins. <laughs> That's what uh, a, a good walk spoiled. That's what they call golf. Is is there a, is there anything about the debate today? Out on the links. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything on the debate? Rock in the clubhouse. <laughs> so We're all going to get laid. Don't. That's what they said in that movie about golf. <laughs> that's not they. That was Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah, <laughs> that's him. Remember in the golf movie? Uh, where that randomly there was a thing where the lady got an abortion? I'm not yeah, gonna, that was okay. weird because it was originally Patreon. a drama. Patreon.com <laughs> slash great night is where you can go to get double, double, double the episodes. Got a little mm -hmm. preview of what the bone sounds like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that one where we were where we were doing it where we were playing bluegrass actually you were out on my porch yeah that was uh i'm glad we went outside got a little bit warmer since then yeah the mornings remain nice yeah and then it heats up to like 90 and then yeah. it and then it kind of eventually settles down i'm sure it's really awesome between Three o'clock in the morning and five and five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So yeah. I should, I should feed my daughter at that time, which I'm up all the time at that time. I should do it outside. I should bring, 
bring that little baby out. Say, hey, you don't know shit. I just bring you outside. You don't know anything. <laughs> and she'll look at me like, eh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Patreon. She, she didn't know anything. She's, 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 she's an infant. Get out of here. You're gonna challenge me. You can't challenge me. <laughs> I went to college. You don't know shit. <laughs> real, real Glocknar's taint. <laughs> 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 oh my god god that was so good that was so good yeah dude it was a real if you think about it it was a real glocknars pain oh man uh all right uh patreon.com slash great night you get double the episodes the bones are really good and hopefully we'll be uh on a porch soon uh hey nathan do you Hello. have a, do you have a game for us yes yeah. i do uh, tonight game, uh, tonight's game comes from the days of Night Attack. We play Apologizes 4. Uh, with hey! The <laughs> with the help of Chat Realm, we've compiled a list of articles featuring someone apologizing for a grievous action. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I, 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 is this game back to being funny? Because for a while it was not funny as everybody was having to legitimately throw themselves under the bus, Justin. Yeah, I, I, well, I don't know. There's only one way to find out, and that's to play the game. Okay. But I think it's going to be funny again. All right. I, I hope so. I spent a decent amount of time combing through these articles. Uh, you'll be presented with a headline missing some crucial details, and you'll need to fill in the blanks. Uh, points will be awarded for the amount of correct details you filled in. A bonus point is up for grabs if you can name where I got this article. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, blank executive apologized to Congress for a July global blank outage. Uh, if you were to answer CrowdStrike and Tech by the Associated Press, you'd get three points. Simple mm. enough. Let's go. Okay. All right. Oh, I, I meant to cut it off before the puzzle. Almost. <laughs> Almost. All right. Zach Bryan apologizes for drunkenly tweeting that blank is better than blank. What's missing here? Mm. Pussy is better Ooh. than Reese's peanut butter cups. Also, who's mm. this guy? Uh, country singer. Oh, yeah. sorry. American pussy is That's better ridiculous. than Brian, come on. this come America's on. Reese's peanut butter cup. Wait, I, also, also, did he put in the apology that he was drunk? Yes, uh, he drunkenly tweeted. Uh, I believe another segment of the apology was vaguely, uh, tweets and uh, drinks don't mix, uh, which, yes, that's okay. correct. Is that really an apology then? Like, like if you're given an excuse, like, uh, are you really owning it? Um... Yeah, I don't know. It depends on what it is. I think, uh, Brian, you're you're ridiculous. It's a ridiculous statement to say that about Luke Bryan. I what? think that, I think that he said that Hezbollah. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> was better than American pussy. <laughs> okay. All right. All so, right. So, so in We've order. We've all been there, man. You know, you're tipping a few back with the boys. You know, you're taking shots of fireball with your friend Doug. <laughs> you and next thing you know, you're on Twitter saying Hezbollah is better than American pussy. You know what's We've you know what's wild? We've all been there, bros. What's wild is uh, uh, paradoxically. Reese's peanut butter cups better than Hezbollah. <laughs> it goes by full the circle order, by 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 the order of uh, uh, Grayskull. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we, we got our answers locked in. Uh, here, let me play some fancy music. Okay, go for it. All right. Uh, unfortunately, neither of you grab the point. Zach what? Bryan apologizes for drunkenly tweeting that Kanye West is better than Taylor Swift. This was on page six. <laughs> Hold on. What's funny is you said Kanye, Kanye West, and my brain auto-completed better than American pussy. <laughs> and then I had to remember yeah. that that part we, we also made up. <laughs> uh, Kanye better he than... Did, he did make her famous. Yeah, he did. Ain't nobody had well, That was what he said in a song. It was controversial. But, I mean, he certainly, that moment, uh, no, accelerated said, her fame. You know, uh, for all the people that know me best, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. <laughs> I made that bitch famous. Talk that talk, man. <laughs> That's how the song goes. Yeah. Have, uh, keep going. Not if, you. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. oh no, no! I, was I meant a... that that was not you to date. I just the... fuck this model, and she just bleached her asshole. Then she sits on my t-shirt, 
I'm gonna feel like an asshole. <laughs> I was high when I met her. We was down in Tribeca. She get under your skin if you let her. She get under your skin if I. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about. It. No, this is no. It's bad. He, nobody likes Kanye anymore because he said anti-Semitic things. So uh, wait, wait, well, no, but the then, but then, but then Jonah Hill uh, made him not anti-Semitic anymore. <laughs> yeah, he even publicly thanked him for it. Like I'm not trusting everybody to follow the, follow the Kanye <laughs> lore. Like yes, he became not anti-Semitic, but that's like saying he like no, about like. It. But yeah, but then you have to read. It's like, uh, true Kanye readers uh, refer back to issue 157, Excelsior. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> All right, Nathan. All right. Son of billionaire Philly's o uh, owner apologizes after second abandoned LA mansion becomes a blank magnet. <laughs> American pussy magnet. Pussy magnet, got it. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Wait, you said Southern lawyer what? Son of billionaire Philly's owner, apolo uh, the weird headline, apologizes after second abandoned L.A. mansion becomes a blank magnet. Uh, I would say, uh, I would say rats. A rat magnet? Rats. I think it became a magnet for rats. And it, and all the other billionaires were like, your little rat house is ruining my property values. Get your rats out of here. And he said, but I love them. They surround me and they fill me with joy. I'm a billionaire. Why did I become a billionaire if not to be surrounded by rats? And the rest of them, they're like, get out of here. We hate rats. They're gross. But he's like, but didn't you see Ratatouille? The whole fucking point was that rats are great and they can cook for you. Uh, yeah, I was going to say magnet school, but I'm going to say homeless magnet. I think that, that a lot of people were squatting. I think squatting Joe uh, was squatting her up. Yeah. Squatter magnet. Squatting. Um, I'm gonna give this one to you, Brian, because it's close enough, I suppose. It wasn't a real rat tattooey. He also, wasn't also, this to, was he this wasn't was trying to find <laughs> America's next rat tattooey, even though rat tattooey was in France. Also, this was in Venture Beat. That's where I read it. Uh, I'll give that one to you. I didn't find this exact headline there, but it's close enough. Uh, son of billionaire Phil owners apologizes after the second abandoned LA mansion becomes a graffiti magnet. Uh, this was posted on the New York Post. Mm. Brian, uh, I will net you two points. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I deserved either of those two points, but I'm going to take them. You can't. Hey, Brian, you can't ask any questions when the when the law comes to town, tells you you got two points. That's just your job to raise those two points best you can. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All yeah. right. Eagle Slay apologized to fans after blank and blank. Who? Eagles player Slay apologizes to fans after blank and blank. This is the band, the Eagles? Football no, team. No, this is the Philadelphia Eagles. Darius Slay, I'm going to say, I believe his name is. Uh, I will pull that up just real quick. Okay, uh, you can't just throw a last name out there like we're all supposed to know who he is and you don't know his first name. I'm reading directly from the headlines here. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? That's a good point. That is literally how the game works. <laughs> Darius Slay is the name. All right. Nice. Uh, okay. He apologized for what again? After blank, blank and, and blank. blank. Well, uh, Peanut and butter. Wait, wait, where did he say blank and blank? Uh, he said this... Um, I can't quite give it to you fully. No, no, no. Just, just re read, read the headline again. Sure thing. Eagles slay apologized to fans after blank and blank. Okay, so there was no context. Uh, after hit and run, hit and run, hit, Ooh, hit and run. He hit a man. Now he's on the run. He's gonna head on down to the end zone because he did a hit and run. That's a, that is a thing that a running back would do. <clears throat> Actually, <throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He definitely, whether or not a car was involved, he definitely committed a hit and run at some point. How about this? A shit and talk. He <laughs> took a shit and then he talked about that shit. <laughs> shit talk. Not different than shit talk. He didn't say anything bad about anybody. He took a shit and then he wouldn't stop talking about it and everybody got really grossed out. Yeah. I like Elsa's answer. Shit and talk. Shit and talk. I like Elle's answers better than uh, the actual one. Uh, Eagle Slay apologizes to fans after loss 
or sorry, after outburst and loss, uh, he was being a bitch. Anyways, so no oh. one gets a point. All right, on to- Wait, hold on. You gave Brian a point for some random shit. No, we're in a full, you gotta pick one point situation. Okay. Then yeah, you gotta say who's closer. I said shit and talk, and he said hit and run. Yeah, I guess Ooh, shit, shit and talk would be closer, I think. Shit and talk. All right, Justin, you get a point. All right, we will get as close as you can to these articles then. More than right. Brian squatter shit. <laughs> Squatters don't know how to do art. They're not graffiti artists. Yeah, no, because that would, be, that would be that would be home improvement. Brian, they're, they're too low to the ground. <laughs> they can't they can't they reach squatter. the tops of those cans. All what right. are they gonna do? Graffiti the bottom the the, the floorboards? They're squatting <laughs> the entire time. They can't reach. All right. What are they Kareem Abdul Jabbar? More like Jabart. Yeah. Right. Mm hmm. All right. Article four. Blank. It is more like Jabart when you think about it. <laughs> Jabart. 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 Look, either you, uh, either you're Jabar or you're Jabart. That's right. Or, or Jabart. There ain't, no, there ain't no halfway. Jabar. Jabart. It, it jabiz or jabanked? <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. All right. Article four. Blank in the river. Alberta mayor apologizes. Jabow and jabai. <laughs> <laughs> Jabir and jabar. 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 <laughs> the five laws of news value. Jaboo. <laughs> Jabow. Jabai. Jaban. <laughs> <laughs> Jabik millions. <laughs> and Jabair. Jabair. Of course, Jabair. Jabair. Okay. <laughs> Good lord. All right. Blank in the river. Alberta mayor apologizes for feral blank remarks. Bl blank in the what? River. Blank in the river. Alberta mayor apologizes for feral blank remarks. So feral beaver. There was a feral beaver in the river, and the mayor was too complimentary of it. He said it's got very, very taut hindquarters and everybody was like, oh, gross. I'm going to say uh, pollution. All right. Pollution in river. Uh, the actual headline is throw in the river. Alberta mayor apologizes for feral cat remarks. Justin, that nets you a point with beaver. Throw yes. in the river? Yes. What does that mean? So uh, the Alberta mayor was going over how there was an issue, um, doo -doo 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 -doo, and the comment was to just fucking throw feral cats in the river, given their permanency recently. Got it. Oh, th he was looking to kill feral cats. Yeah. I mean, put them least, all in a bag at least or just shoot loose. Them. I think just loose. Well, can we go? You think that the mayor's made of bullets, Brian? Water's free. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, well touche. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. What are, what are you wasting bullets on? Those are bullets that could be used for many things that are jokes <laughs> I don't want to say out loud. <laughs> they, they uh, but, but, you know, if you're going to kill a bunch of feral cats, man, no. two solutions and only two. Either a baseball bat, wait, Canada, hockey stick, or <laughs> troll in the old river. That's... You know, they call it, they call river. Pussy Valhalla, <laughs> because that's where feral cats American live their American reward. pussy Valhalla. American, well, no, Canadian pussy, which means it's worth fifteen cents more. Did I tell you Joyful ate two rabbits in a day? Hell Damn. yeah! Is she bulking? Uh, well, okay, so I is she is she gonna be ready for Mrs. Olympia? <laughs> Yesterday, wait, what is what is that? <laughs> oh, it's like a bodybuilding. Competition. Oh, got it, got it. Like, okay, I, I didn't like... know if that's the one you were talking about. I didn't know if there's a current yeah. news story. Um, we we went for a walk and uh, just as and and we came back and then I opened up the door and she came in and she had something in her mouth. I'm like ah ah ah, and so now she's in the house and she drops the thing in her mouth. Definitely a baby rabbit. And I was like, oh. oh, dear. And so I, uh, I I put it in the trash, and I threw the trash away in the outside trash. And then I was like, oh, well, what can you do? They're literally trained to do that. And then, uh, and so uh, I record a YouTube short, and then it's like, uh, she's like, hey, I want to go for a walk. So go for a walk. Uh, kid you not, uh, within one minute, she's on the trail in the back acreage. 
uh, another <laughs> another rabbit in her mouth. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, son of a bitch. Uh, Nathan, when you... He's like, I know where there's a bunch of these things. Well, like, like, I... that was when we figured out that she found the nest, the yeah. warren. That yeah, explains yeah. why there's so much goddamn rustling on the trail. I was walking recently. I kept seeing rabbits run around like fucking crazy. Wait, for reals? Yeah. I, I did, Was that dead rabbit there? Uh, I don't think I saw the dead rabbit. When okay, because it was right in the middle of the trail, and I remember thinking I need to go back and move it, uh, you know, throw it into the back part. But then uh, when I didn't see it, I thought either a varmint got it or Nathan was being polite and threw it out. I think a varmint got or, it. <laughs> or maybe Nathan was really hungry, and we need to have a discussion about his culinary habits. Yeah, those rabbits, man, they're out there in your back acreage breeding like... Like things that breed a lot like 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 young paramours <laughs> like what couldn't think of one okay all right we are at the halfway round tonight uh time to introduce tonight's prize you know with all this apologizing for things why don't we all just you know be friends oh my god oh, good lord <laughs> oh my god this is a sealed in uh selfie wrap a uh, blu-ray collection of all 640 episodes of friends okay blu-ray is generous it's dvd but yes this. oh is that's even better <laughs> that's so much better Yes, this is the entire set of friends uh, for tonight's prize. A friendly reminder that tonight's totals right now is an even two and two. Uh, all right. Uh, do, 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 do. Brian, what was where? Where do you remember being when you first heard of the sitcom sensation? I remember friends? thinking it was the laziest, shittiest name for a show that I could yeah. imagine. Like at least Cheers, you was at least a wink to like what whatever mash it's in a mash unit makes sense got yeah. it cheers better title buy a lot because it's it's a word it, it, associated it's the name of the bar right it's a place but also it's a thing you say at a bar and all that yeah. stuff and it's like this is the equivalent of like in repo man where uh emilio estevez is eating from a can labeled food brand food and i'm like yeah. uh, friends duh, we're nbc at least the uh, the office makes sense in an office. So you got well. You got, also, it's it was at least in the British version, it was supposed to be a documentary. So it's like it makes more sense as a documentary title, The Office. But Friends, yeah, I guess I I, I like the fact that they ended every episode saying, and that's why we're friends. <laughs> uh, I, I we were on a break. Because we're friends. That that show came out when I was in college, which you know, is which means I missed an awful lot of it. Yeah, I I was in my prime watching television years as a uh, a, a young man, and I loved the NBC block. So I remember it coming out, and I remember thinking, "Well, this is stupid." <laughs> I liked Seinfeld, and then meanwhile, this Friends thing is here. But I guess it's not. Do, do you time. remember the unending litany of would-be successors to the throne that got that sweet spot in between Friends and Seinfeld, or 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 Frasier and Seinfeld, or like there, there's that that magic half-hour stuff, and like in one year they had like seven shows. Uh, they would just try, yeah. yeah. Like I remember Boston Commons was one of them, yeah. and. Um, uh, uh, oh, the other one, doggone it. I, I almost, I could picture l l loosely. W was uh, a guy, a girl in a pizza place or was that ABC? I mean, everything kind of felt the same at that time. Like it was a very homogenized world of sitcom stuff. Well, and, and it really, they were all kind of unremarkable and really the hits and the misses it's hard to know why one or the other yeah did. was wings on must see tv uh, was it was it day? was but that was early 90s that was high school for me and so that was also that wings was ruled oh wings yeah is totally like cast wings is cast is like star studded yeah uh uh thomas hayden church uh yep. remember Tony he was Shaloub. in uh sideways uh yeah uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah the movie, I have to go back and watch Sideways. It's been a minute with Paul Giamatti. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Next. Shout All right. out to Tony Shalhoub, though. 
Not enough people talk about. Yeah, Tony dude. Shalhoub. He uh, uh, whatever happened to Brian? Him. Talk about Tony Shalhoub a little bit. Uh, Tony Shalhoub, boy, not was not enough people do it. He did. He did. He, he did a good uh, Italian stereotype in the movie Cars. Uh, yeah. Or uh, so many white wall tires. Uh, hooray! Always wanted to that. see the the. Uh, 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 the the type of racing that that was not the stock car racing that the NASCAR the other one the foreign one he uh, yeah, oh F1. and and he always tidying up as solving crimes so many this crimes this is definitely a person who had to watch cars a lot uh yes <laughs> well I was trying to lead into Monk <laughs> yeah Monk yeah. my ex girlfriend really liked Monk yeah it probably was a sign that it wasn't gonna work. <laughs> all right nathan all right antonio pierce apologizes for creating blank with business blank and uh comment creating blank with business blank well the I, uh, hey brian as close as you side. can to these headlines to the side i i know this one so you guess whatever and then i'll tell you what the right answer okay is. Uh, making money. Young, young uh, our young Ward here has yet to realize that he, you can't do sports things because I actually pay attention to sports. Uh, I do them intentionally. I try and give everyone balance. Don't. That's the point. It's, it's not fun if I know, and we have to not know, and then we come up with something that's offensive. He he <laughs> made money with company money. It's business blank. Yeah, Just business put, business money. Business funds, money. funds. He, he gambled. Made be, he made the, bets with the, with with business money. The head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders says, "Hey, business money is what you got to think of." <laughs> and everyone was like, "Fuck you, fuck business money." Oh, this this, this was this was the Raiders. Yep. Okay. Well, now I'm even more convinced. It was bets with business money. <laughs> oh, he bet with business money. Yeah. Oh, that's a good yeah, one. yeah. 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 No, he he, uh, he yelled at players for making business decisions. Oh, that's one no. point. Can you get the other part? Well, read Wait, it what again. Was the other part. Antonio Pierce apologized for creating blank with business uh, decision comment. Distraction. Oh, okay. Distraction. Is that right. Yeah, no. distraction. You are incorrect. No, Brian. Do you want oh. a chance to try and take it? Uh, uh yes. American pussy. American Pussy is unfortunately not close enough for me to give it to you. It's Hoopla. Uh, oh, man, that's what I oh, call stop. American Pussy. <laughs> Everybody, it's time for a hold down. Gather around the Hoopla. Everybody gonna fuck some American Pussy. <laughs> you probably right. does call Pussy Hoopla. <laughs> I don't know what all this hoopla is about. Back when, back when Brian and I were both single men, uh, he used to just uh, say like, "Hey man, what's going on? You out here getting some hoopla tonight?" Yeah, I drew a picture of a pussy. It was a circle, and I said, "You know, for kids, that's where they come yeah. out." And then I said, "I'm gonna throw that in the river." <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm gonna throw that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get that shit wetter than a river in Alberta, dog. All right. Uh, who won? I get that, Avia. So for the final uh, headline, California apologizes for role in perpetuating blank amid push for reparations. Generating. Uh, uh, there's only one blank. There's only one blank. California apologizes for role in perpetuating blank amid push for reparations. Stereotypes like a ghetto blaster. Like bad drivers who are Asian Taking photographs of Godzilla Those are Asian stereotypes Stereotypes Got it, Justin Was that AI? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can unequivocally state for the audio listeners That yeah. before you go snipping that, you're going to have to get permission because yeah, I own from, the copyright of it Suno. because I gave the prompt. Yeah. And the prompt was terrible comedy. <laughs> <laughs> but up. Oh, sorry. But up, 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 up. What do you think it was, Justin? What did it say it again? California apologizes for role in perpetuating blank amid push for reparations. Bummer vibes. <laughs> 
All right. Hey, bro. It's just me, <laughs> your governor, dude. I'm Gavin Newsom, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's just been some real bummer vibes about these reparations, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, everybody, why can't we just be equal? Why are we doing this, man? I'm Gavin Nason, man. <laughs> the fuck, dude? I live in Sacramento, dude. What the fuck, man? I don't care. Hey, we're closed for COVID, dude. I'm sorry, man. It's COVID. What the fuck, man? Oops, I want to go to dinner. I got the munchies. I'm Gavin Newsom. I'm stoner Gavin Newsom, bro. Holy Getting shit. high as hell. I go get high, man. I'm, when you're this Gavin, you got to do something. <laughs> when you're this guy, it's me, Sam Elliott. <laughs> when you're this Gavin, you, you needed some munchies. <laughs> Brian, Justin, please pick a color, red or black, as both of your answers are legitimately could be a tie for this one. Oh. I have a deck of cards black. right here. Yeah, Always bet on black. Time. Dang it, dang it. Uh, uh, red. Always bet on red. All Better right. red than dead. Oh, yeah. That one works, too. All right, Brian Red, Justin Black. Brian with Red, you win the game as the actual headline is California apologizes for role in perpetuating slavery amid pushes for reparations. So stereotypes, I guess, per Perpetuating worked. slavery? Perpetuating like, slavery. Wait, they, they caused, okay, by- They made it go longer? They, I, well, I mean, I guess, I, you know what? I guess you're, oh, no. I, okay, that's, when, not, wait. <laughs> No, you want to know? Play the song. I'm throwing the article in the chat. All right. Uh, 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 while, while the song's still going, uh, tell us how uh, people can help make games. Uh, you can head on over to bit.ly slash NA Discord. Head on over to our channels. You can find me as tech. We make games every week. Come, uh, come on by and say hello. Thanks, y'all. Yay! Thank you very much, Nathan! All right, Thanks, Brian, Nathan. Here's... Uh, Justin. Have a yeah. good time with J.D. Vance. All true patriots will give him money, according to my yeah, text feed. Yeah, all true patriots will. Tim Walls versus J.D. Vance. I'll be streaming that on my channels. Uh, follow politics, politics, politics. And all sorts of real hot shit happening. We're into October, baby. Who knows what kind of October surprises are in the offing. It's a rocktober. We'll see you later. All right. See you next Tuesday. It's been a great night. Die the fire. That was a clean ass fade. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>